Hey guys, so I'm doing a different video today. Um, this is a video I've actually been wanting to do for a while actually. And it really is just me uh, sharing my doll takes either about the community, the dolls in general, you know, just sharing my opinions, you know. So let me just get started really. So the first one is that I truly believe that pretty much most dog collectors should try getting into dolls, you know that are more foreign, you know, if you live in America, maybe try getting dolls released in Japan, China, you know, the Middle East, you know? And I say this, um, if you can't afford to pay for extra shipping, you know, I feel like you should try to. But, you know, this is another thing is that you can go on secondhand websites and, for example, I was able to find one of my Fula dolls for only about $20, you know? I also think that people should try buying a doll dictionary, which I did it one time and it was really fun, like, seeing through all the dolls I never knew existed, you know? It was really fun to look through and it was just really fun, essentially. So if you can pick one up, you know, I do recommend. My next opinion, which I feel very strongly about this one, but my next opinion is that Rainbow High makes too many characters. It's so mind-boggling because characters from Series 2, like Stella, River, are now just completely irrelevant and forgotten about. They always prioritize the main cast, cast, which makes sense, but what's the point of having all these characters in the show when they're only gonna use that main six? I thought it was really annoying because Monster High and Bratz did do the same thing. Monster High was a bit better about it, but Bratz was pretty bad about it, but that's what annoys me. It's like, what's the point of having all these characters if you're just gonna focus on the main six really, you know? Alright, so this one, this opinion right here is actually a bit more, I wouldn't say controversial, but kind of controversial. But I think that reselling a doll for higher than what you paid for isn't even that bad. Because I've seen people on Twitter go on witch hunts for someone who did that with Monster High dolls. It really irks me because, no one, first of all, no one is entitled to cheap dolls, you know? People should put that type of energy, you know, like the witch hunts energy into, you know, those people who are actually willing to play, pay those inflated prices, you know? People on the internet, they just act like it's the worst thing to do, you know? It's not, because it's not, you know? Because, like, I could admit, you know, it's kind of, like, sucks when you, like, see a doll when it has its original price tag on, you know? That's what I kind of do, like, I, I don't know, I like it when sellers, when they're selling an old doll, like, I saw, one time, I saw a Winx doll from 2005, 2006, and it had its original price tag, which was like $49.99. And they were selling it for about $86, which I do understand that people are willing to pay that much. So I can't really be mad at the seller that much because, you know, they're seeing that it's going for that much, you know? But I just think that maybe they should try to get rid of the uh, price tag before you put it on. But yeah. This opinion is actually really small, but I actually really think that plush dolls are really cute and that they're really underrated, you know? This is a, another opinion that I might get hit for, but I really think that American Girl dolls are really ugly. The reason why I would actually want to get them, get one, is because I actually think they're really cool and fun to dress. Like, I think it's so cool how you're able to take them to the American Girl doll store, you know? Be able to get their hair done, get new outfits for them, you know, go eat with them. But I love the whole concept of American Girl dolls, but the way they look, I'm not really into it that much. Because it's like, to me they look like toddlers and they have like those giant, well a lot of them. Well, I actually think it's actually kind of cute sometimes with their buck teeth, only on some dolls. But yeah, I was never really a big fan of them. I remember really wanting one when I was 12. But then I just kind of stopped because at that point I was like thinking I actually would rather spend that money on like a pull-up doll or something, you know? So my next one isn't 100% really a doll take, but it's basically that I truly believe that dolls like Living Dead Dolls, Little Apple Dolls, and Begot Dolls need to make a return to Hot Topic stores because I get so irked when I see ugly My Hero Academia merch, no not trying to offend the My Hero Academia fans, but it's so ugly. I literally hate all the Bakugo, Deku merch, all the, an uh, it's kind of, I mean, I love anime, of course. 
but seeing the amount of anime merch there just annoys me so much which i do know they focus on the hot topic you know and obviously anime is a very um hot topic you know but it just annoys me so much seeing all the ugly merch i remember oh, seeing yuri on ice socks oh my god but i actually really do see a market for that you know people are i mean people online they're really into that kind of stuff you know like dolls like that and you know it goes with their history you know and i just think it's like it, they just should go back to it really you know because i mean it would be so cool to go to the store and get a living dead doll you know a be goth doll you know but i mean i, I mean with be goth dolls and living dead dolls are kind of dead but i mean living dead dolls are still going strong so i really don't see why they don't sell them there But my most last and important take is that Nintendo needs to start selling dolls. They need to get, well, they need to get someone to license the dolls because they need to make a princess line, you know, a prince line of Daisy, Rosalina, Peach. I feel like there's so much potential in that, you know, because there's with all these different outfits and it just seems like that's just a wasted potential. They're basically losing money because I could totally see a market with that. You know, people have been wanting that for years. I've been wanting that for years, you know. And it's something that I'm pretty sure, you no know, kids would actually want to get, you know? It's really cool to get. Collectors would want it, you know? To be honest, the closest thing we've ever gotten to a Princess Peach doll would be this one weird RC figure kind of toy. But I wouldn't really call it a doll because it was really just a piece of plastic with hair on it. Um, I'll put a picture of it. You know, I can totally see, like, ideas for fashion packs, uh... You know, extra accessories, play sets, you know? And I don't know, I just think it's so crazy how this hasn't been done yet, you know? I really do see a market for it. But yeah, those are generally my takes, you know? If you do agree, you can comment down. If you don't agree, you can comment down if you want. But um, thank you for watching my video. If you did watch, you know, it was really fun to do. Um, I might be doing a part two because this was really fun to do and I didn't want to add all of my takes into this one video because I didn't want it to be too long. So yeah, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll do another video. So until then, goodbye.